Uh, okay. So I think we can make the trading house now. Mm. And that'll fulfill one of our quest obligations. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Boom. I've decided what to build. All right. I'll muster the labor. Come with me. This will be a big one. Now, this one might start producing some resources. We're going to have to see. Uh, I'm not having any issues with the music. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I have no issues with the music. It sounds great on my side. Robot music? Oh, it's got to be a Twitch thing. My God, another Twitch issue. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, sorry, guys. It, I mean, it's fine on my side. I don't... Whew. I tell you, man. We're going to build here? Right here. Ready to start? Hmm. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. All good. We can start construction. Oh, hell yeah. So this is like our first actual building. Looking good, man. Jesus, yeah, if you're having if you're having uh, music issues, try reloading the stream. Because nothing ever changed on my side, so... Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, nice. We can watch ourselves now. So, do I have to actually buy a room here? Let's take a look. Oh, look at all this! Very nice. Good day, Henry! Hey, merchant. Oh, there's a merchant here. God's blessings. Good luck. What do you have? Anything good? Oh, a new book. Uh, we'll get some savior schnapps. Cool, man. This guy had all sorts of useful stuff. Uh, do I want to sell anything to him? Hmm. I don't really have a lot to sell. I have 70 dandelions. I don't even get... Oh, look at all this stuff. We'll sell him this crap. Why do I even have this? Get out of my inventory. Get, get out of my inventory. Um. 214 poppies. What? What am I? What am I doing? What is going on here? Oh, so you, you. What was I doing when I played this game last? All right, let's do this. Let's have a word about the. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. What about this? That's still too. Bro, I built your house. Just saying, like. Oh, that's a decent. You'd be super nice to me. Just saying. Okay. Uh, let's go to... Man, that is... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, damn! <laughs> Boys, we got work to do. Oh, my lord. Okay. Man, they're not messing around with this DLC, are they? <laughs> Okay, so um, let's see. Renew the church, ensure sufficient income, ensure housing for the villagers. So let's go back up. Oh, a new herbarium too. Wait, no, no, that's different. That's totally different. Why did that quest get moved to the top? That's weird. Hmm. And actually, you know what? Wait, wait, I can... No, okay. Mm -mm. Did they already solve all the bugs before they came out with the DLC? Um, they, from what I understand, there's, there have been some major patches, and many of the bugs that we had to deal with through the main story have been fixed. However, I can confirm there are still some bugs in the game for sure. Um, but I have, I have been told it's better. So the trader is making some money, but I'm still losing money. Every, what, what does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. Every something. <laughs> Um, I need to find some stuff that makes some money, or I'm going to get in trouble. 
Let's see. Church is gonna... Oh, he, okay, like a forge. Generates five people and 500 gold. It requires charcoal, though. A bakery also makes money, but requires grain. A butcher requires livestock. Okay. We built the traders. That's making some money. We can get them cart horses to make more money. I wonder how we do that. Need stone and grain for that. Already built the road, built the woodcutter's camp. This provides honey for the baker and honey for the tavern. Built the labor's camp. Oh, that's it! Oh wait, what? I guess I guess we have to go get the resources. Let's let's work on that next. Let's work on that next. Okay. Let's do it. Do I recommend this game? Um yeah, I would I would recommend this game. Because I mean I I put Oh, I don't know how much on this one. Hold on. If we take the the X hours I did today. I played this game when it first came out on Steam. Yeah, I played this game for 71 hours. So, I mean, you know, like, I, I had a really... Even with the bugs and issues, I still had, like, a very full playthrough of this game. And, um, I enjoyed it, man. I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I did. Before I travel, I'm actually going to use a Savior Schnapps. Just in the off chance something happens. Mm-hmm. There we go. Game saved. Okay, great. But yeah, no, I, I definitely do. Also, quick reminder though, if you're interested in buying this game, make sure to check out the KCD deal command because we have a 40% off limited code. It's the most this game has ever been off. So if you're thinking of buying this game, definitely take advantage of that. Save some money. Hey, One Punch Mac. How you doing, bud? Thanks, Barry. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going, I think just around this way, we're going to A, which is right over here. We'll see what's here. I'm not sure if these are all going to be individual quests, or if we just need to talk to them and be like, yo, I want your stuff. Put me up with some of your stuff. Let's go see. Yeah. Yeah. Should be right over here. Welcome. There it is. This dude. Yo, wake up. We gotta talk. Rupert. Uh, what are you waking me? You jerk. Oh, it's almost nighttime. Um, find a place to rest. Boop. Looks like I'm sleeping at your place tonight. I have over 500 games on Steam. Can someone explain the benefits of using GOG? Uh, GOG, which is my sponsor, is it's first of all completely DRM free, which is awesome. It also has GOG Galaxy, which is very similar to Steam, except it takes less resources, which I like. Uh, you don't have to use Galaxy. Unlike Steam, you do not have to use their deployment platform. You can just download the games off GOG directly off their website if you want to. And um, also, for they have better deals in a lot of times, especially if you keep following the channel. We have really good deals through them every so often. And uh, that's really about it. But at the same point, they're, they're deployment platforms. So, yeah, I am sponsored by GOG and recommend them. But if you're playing the game, you're you're good. So, <laughs> like, that's, you know, it, it, if you if you like Steam and prefer Steam, keep using Steam. You know, it's it's cool. Uh, you're, you know, you're still going to be playing the games. But just keep in mind that uh, if DRM is a factor, then you may want to look into GOG. Uh, Big Beer says, I strongly recommend GOG. 10 out of 10 from your buddy Big Beer. Great, thanks, Big Beer, for your uh, your recommendation there. Awesome, good stuff. Okay, uh, let's go to talk to this guy. Where is he? Let's 
Where did you go, bud? Oh, I went across the thing here. Okay. So DRM is bad? Uh, DRM is generally bad. Yes. DRM or digital rights management generally just takes resources and in some cases will bug your game in the worst cases or require you to always be online when you play them um, with the explicit purpose of preventing piracy. The funny thing is, though, is almost every single type of DRM can be bypassed. So nine times out of ten, DRM is just a giant waste of resources and horrid bloat that is completely unnecessary. So it's... Yeah, that's what that's one of the reasons GOG swears it off is because they're like this is dumb, <laughs> like we don't we don't do we don't do dumb. Um, <laughs> so yeah, again, one of the reasons I'm with GOG. God be with you, Henry. Oh, also, cool little side note: GOG is actually owned by CD Projekt. CD Projekt owns CD Projekt Red, the developers of Witcher and Cyberpunk. Just throwing that out there. Greetings, good knight. How may I serve you? I want to buy stone for Pribis. Oh, we have to buy all these things? I'm here at the behest of Sir uh -oh. I'm looking for the overseer of this quarry. Would that be you, Goodman? Aye, that's me. What can I do for you? Sir Divish has decided to rebuild Pribis Labbits, and he's entrusted me to take charge, along with his locator. Aha, uh -huh. so it's you. I heard about Sir Divish's plans. What is it you need, then? Well, we've started with the reconstruction work, but we need more than just timber. You need stone for the construction? Exactly. And for repairing the church. Well, now, you're really not doing things by halves, are you? The thing is, though, we're already working flat out supplying stone for the monastery construction yes, DJ Knight. in Sassau. I can't cut back on their supplies. Sir Divish wouldn't be at all pleased. Uh-oh. But I really need that stone. Well, I suppose I could try and hire a few more quarrymen to increase production. But we can't transport it. Even Sassau sends their own wagon here. Have you got someone to carry the stone? I've got my own merchant. He'll take care of it with his hired hands. Splendid. So let's talk about the price. Oh. 4K? Uh, let's try this. The stone is for Sir Divish. It's for a village he wants to rebuild as quickly as possible. I doubt he'd take it well that the overseer of his own quarry is overcharging him for it. Well, you have a point. I'll take that into account in the price. We just saved a whole ca- I won't even lower. Hey, that's still too much. But I can't sell my stone any cheaper. I wouldn't be able to pay my men. If you won't accept the price, we're done. Okay. All right, I accept. Fine. Excellent. We'll start sending the stone as soon as your merchant gets here. Farewell. Oh, I just realized something. Wait a second. We may only need one resource from these different people. So if that's the case, I wonder if we should like talk to all these people first and get like the best option and then pick one. Hmm. Or maybe we need all of them. I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Anyway, to answer the question, uh, did I approach GOG or did GOG approach me? Uh, we are actually one of the first streams on Twitch that are synced up with GOG. It started uh, when we first started our GOG sponsorship, it started as a very low time limit, short contract, and they just wanted to see what it would be like and see how it would go. And uh, not only were they extremely awesome at the beginning and still have been, giving us literally tens of thousands of dollars of free codes to give away, which we actually have another batch of those coming in the next few weeks, um, but they have since made that contract indefinite. So it's been real good. Um, also, in terms of... Uh, like how that whole thing started. I've actually done some work with CD Projekt Red in the past. I actually hosted multiple panels for them at PAXs. So for the official CD Projekt Red panels, I would be the one kind of introducing the people and talking to them and asking them questions and stuff like that. I actually hosted the very first Gwent panel they ever did with the two people that created Gwent, which was really fun. Um, so I've, I've done work with CD Projekt in the past and uh, 
when the sponsorship came through my management team op group like i i really was like this is like i, I very very rarely do this with op group uh in fact i've done it like less times than i can count on one hand but when when the note came through that GOG was interested in potentially sponsoring the channel. I, I literally went to my, my, my handler, basically Omid. And I was like, you do what you need to do on this. I, I want this. <laughs> like, like you don't, don't worry about money. Don't worry about like, do what you need to do. I want to work with these guys. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of how it went. And it's all just kind of grown out since then. And, uh, it's, it's honestly one of my favorite sponsorships. Like I said, they've given us tens of thousands of dollars of free stuff they they've saved you guys huge amounts of money with the deals they give us like it's it's really good when a sponsor not only has you represent their service and product but they also work with you to save tons of money in your community so i'm all for it man i'm all for it it's one of the reasons i'm 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 loving working with them and i hope that answers your question there you go that was probably a little bit more than you mentioned but yeah Okay, uh, should we sleep here? No, let's just go ahead and get started. What's the the letter I'm looking for? B. Okay, so B is a grain guy. So just, just to see how this works, we're going to do all three of these grain things and kind of see if this is what we're thinking. In here. And it's you. Oh, the bailiff. Okay. God save you. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy some grain. Grain? What do you want grain for? I'm responsible for the rebuilding of Privis Labbits. Hmm. I heard some talk about that. I suppose I can sell you part of the crop. How many bushels do you want? I'll need fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. That's quite a lot. It won't be cheap. Or even though it's first Bro, even village. look at me. Kai. Unless he sets the allocations rude. himself, I have to make up for any differences in supplies. And you'll have to pay for that. Have you got someone to transport it? Or are you gonna haul it there yourself? We got a guy. I've got a merchant to take care of it. Fair enough. Here's my offer. Oh, 160k per. Okay. Okay. I think I'll try my luck elsewhere. No skin off my nose. Okay, so this guy, help me out here, chat. It's it's 160 gold per like rotation. I'm I'm not I'm not sure how the I don't know if it's per day or per week. I don't know what that is yet. But okay. That one is 160 for everything we needed. Now we're going to go check Sasal. And see if we can get a better deal there. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't 160k. It was it was 160, but it was a reoccurring payment. So it's one of those things where it's like it adds to our monthly. Uh, so here we go. Do 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 do. Oh, and yeah, auntie, that's totally cool, man. It's totally cool. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's totally fine. Like, no one, no one should be arguing for that. You can also just be like me and use both. I use Steam and GOG. There's a lot of stuff I can't get on GOG that I can get on Steam. So where else am I going to get it? And, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Like, it's totally cool. I use both and it's fine. <laughs> hey, Cobot, how you doing? <laughs> Pastor of Muppets, nice. Cobot replies with chill with the caps, please. I know, right? What a rude. Uh, so I think C is actually what we're looking for right here. Okay. You. I'm honored that you should come to me. I'd like to buy some grain. You want to buy grain? That's what I said. I need regular supplies for Privis Lavitz. I'm in charge of renewing the village. Well, I never. So Sir Divish really is going ahead with it. Looks like it. Well, it's all the same to me. How many bushels will you be wanting? Uh, I'll need fodder for horses, at least 10 strong animals, and wheat for the Okay, baker. good. So it's He'll the exact the same village. stuff as the other I can guy. I that. So we know it Only is a choice thing. have to put a share back into the Sassar coffers. 
To cover the cost of the supplies, our Lord will be losing on account of it. I understand. Have you got someone to transport the grain? We do. I've got a merchant to take care of it. This is the price. 120! And we can lower it! Couldn't we do something about the price? Sorry, I can't, Hen. This is the pr Okay. <laughs> so, this is a situation where we want to go around and talk to I'll everyone. Cool. Great. All right. So, we... So, Sasau is currently in the lead at 120. So, we're going to check Samapesh. <laughs> and actually, you know what? Real quick before I go, I think we have another... Let's, let's go check this livestock. So, let's actually start writing this down a little bit. So, Sasau is in the lead with... Uh, what was that? Grain? Grain at 120. Throw that up there. Now let's go get the livestock guy who is right down here, and we'll grab his price while we're here too. Thank you, King Andrew. Yeah, the last guy was 160. This guy was 120. So we'll we'll definitely take this guy. Now I wonder if there's other ramifications. Like I wonder if the different locations provide different quality levels. Eh, I didn't see anything about quality yet, so probably overthinking it there. Oh yeah, Bad Move Gaming. GOG is also 10 times better than Steam for classic games. And playing Zork Nemesis runs perfectly from GOG. Yeah, one important thing to mention about GOG is they started as an older game distribution service. They didn't used to sell like the hottest games. In fact, that's how I found out about GOG. Buying old games like Arcanum, Planescape Torment, Fallout 1 and 2. And if you go to the forums on GOG, not only do they have all the patches and everything, but a lot of times, like if you buy Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines on GOG, it comes with the community patches. So, uh, oh, GOG is good old games. Yeah. So, um, it's it's a lot of times they'll put in patches that require it to run. Um, like, if it needs it, which is really handy. So, that's that stuff's pretty cool. That's definitely a, a big plus, in my opinion. Is this girl? No, it's the one outside. May the Lord watch over you. Vampires, what led you to GOG? Hell yeah, man. That's one of the first things I got off it, too. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Anyway, that's enough of that. You guys you guys know all that stuff. I'm trying to get livestock for Pribislavis. Could you help me out? Certainly. How are the folk there getting on? Yeah, we're doing all right. It's really Glad dark in this it. corner. There's a friend of mine there. Jonah. Do you know him? Mm, sorry, can't say I do. I don't know everyone yet. Andy fella. Always making something. He's good at making baskets. Mm, hmm. Sorry, I really don't know him. Ah, well, it's not important. You sure don't have it easy. But then again, it'll be an adventure. I was thinking about it myself. About going there too, you know. But my place is here. Well, uh, what was it you wanted again? I was gonna I say, to like, supply livestock for us. the point? Right, of course. And who's gonna take it there for you? I've got a merchant to take care of it. Yep. Good. I'd be expecting him. So, here's my price. I know it's a bit on the dear side, but you'll get lean, tender meat from them. Fit for a bishop's table. Uh-oh. Okay, 50. So, Sasau... Uh, Sasau meat is 50, but he made a comment about high quality. Okay. So let's no, see if the really other guys, it's like I wonder if the other guys are going to say things like, yeah, this is really enough. cheap, but it's not the best meat, you know? So we're going to have to, we're going to have to pay attention to that. Just take it? Oh, no, no, we're not taking it because we have options. Yeah, but it, we found out from the grain section that the, the different people have different prices and everything. So we're going to see what the prices are first. Uh, what's the next grain thing we have to do? Samapesh. Let's go check Samapesh. Right here. Go with Sasau for grain? We might. We might. We're gonna we're gonna see what it is up here first. Doesn't hurt seeing all our options before making a decision. You? Right there? Yeah. What do you need? Maybe you need multiple sources when the when the town grows. Maybe. Maybe. Have you got any grain to sell? You want it for yourself? No, it's not for me. It's for the villagers. And I gotta take my helmet off. And what have you got to do with that? So Divish put me in charge. He put you in charge of hauling grain. 
No, he, um... Oh, look, it doesn't matter. Can we buy from you? <sighs> it's all the same to me. I can let you have some of the crop. How much do you need? Well, I'll need uh, fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the... My word! You must be a trustworthy wagoner if his lordship trusts you with a deal like that. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> How are you going to haul it from here? I've got a cow. I've arranged it with a merc... I don't mind sending you part of our crop, but it'll cost something. Eighty? Well, that's a reasonable price. We'll shake on it then. Damn. Okay. So that guy is half the cost of the other dude. Um, cool. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. All right. So, and did that take off the other grain? Yeah, look at that. So by making a deal with one of the grain people, the other two disappeared. So I don't think we need to get all of them. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. He said no. He no. He said he was going to give us part of his grain. Like, yeah, they still want to eat too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I may have gotten scammed with a stone. That's a good point. We that may have not been the best thing for the stone. Um, but I think it was a one-time payment, so that's good, maybe, because that it was significantly more than the rest. All right, let's take a look here. E, F, and G. Let's do that. Next. Oh wait, there's a fourth. E, F, G, and H. Okay, let's check them out. Oh, wow. F's all the way over there. Uh... Actually, I wonder if we can build anything first. Nah, let's get this figured out. Let's get this figured out. Let's go to F first. Yeah. Also, you know what? I think I'm going to take my helmet off. That looks ridiculous. Let's take that off, too. Man, how many things do I have on? There we go. Okay. Cool. Remind me not. I, I need to not sell that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't let me sell that stuff, chat. All right, let's go. I don't really know how to get to this place. I don't know if, if I've even been here before, so we're just gonna kind of go straight to it. Perhaps build something that makes more money now. We're gonna we're gonna get all the resources first, then we're gonna go back and basically build everything we can. Now this is pod racing. Actually, it's getting stuck in trees. Oh god! Oh, gee, I fell off my horse. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that works too. Just running through the woods, harvesting all the shrooms. That's one thing I really like about this game, is whenever you do a harvest action, it harvests everything in that area. It doesn't just take the one thing you're on. It takes everything in the area. That's such a nice little changer. Uh-oh. Are, are you a bro? Or are you a bandit? You're a wayfarer. What's that you said about my mother? Get out of here. How dare you talk about her like that? Let me throw you off here and get out of here. What a rude. God, what a rude. Wait, come here, I gotta leave you stuff. Need your groshin. Hey, if he would have kept his mouth shut, he would have been fine, but seriously, you don't you don't just talk about a man's mother like that. This is also how men hunt right here. That's that's how you that's how you're supposed to hunt. That's how you hunt rabbit. I'm gonna steal all. Okay. Where are we in the map right now? Oh, we're almost there. Great. Beep. As I've learned, there is significant fall damage in this game, so I need to be a little careful going down here. Don't need to get myself killed. Didn't find anything this time, but one thing that is really cool about this game is a lot of times if you just randomly run through the forest, you will find stuff just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. 
which is pretty fun. Although we are really kind of off the beaten path right now. The forest also looks so good in this game. 